Welcome to Five Fires YouTube. I normally don't do movie reviews. This is a theme park channel, but wow. I watched Godzilla minus one yesterday, uh, but no expectation. Uh, obviously, I know I'm getting Godzilla, but there wasn't nothing. I, I had like a prehand notion of what this movie was going to be. And um, when I walked out of the theater, people clapping people just talking and, and and conversating of what they just witnessed and everybody smiling and it was a weird moment to to be in the theater where everybody was just so happy um and let me tell you there's not a lot of happy that goes on in this movie but um from the godzilla feel it hit every note that you would ever want in a Godzilla movie. Um, this is kind of like, I wear like the worst shirt right now, but I, I'm actually on the way to go watch this movie again. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a review. I want to spread the word on this movie. Um, this is kind of like the non-spoiler section. I'm going to talk some spoilers. Uh, and I'm not trying to go super in-depth into this movie. I just want to inspire people to go watch this movie uh, because this was just great. It was just great. Um, there's a couple things that I want to hit about this movie. Um, Godzilla, wow. It's just so unreal to see Godzilla on the screen, the way that they portrayed Godzilla. Um, and it's weird to say this, and I was saying this yesterday. I don't know how to make sense of it. Um, I probably sound weird saying this, but... To me, the movie had so much realism. Everything was so grounded. But at the same time, this ridiculous giant of a beast, Godzilla, exists in this like realistic world. And not for one second did I not believe that this wasn't real. Like I just felt like I was watching real cinema. Like this was just a reality that these people live in. They have a Godzilla in their world. Like it's real. And it's so it's just so crazy to say something like that because this concept of Godzilla and you know make believe it, I never not once doubted that that Godzilla was real in that world, and uh, they just the CGI everything was epic. Um, there's a there's one thing that I really want to like point out big time is that when I watched this movie, you would have thought that easily. Easily, it would have had, uh, I don't know, a two hundred million dollar budget. You know that we've been seeing movies left and right with two hundred million dollar budgets uh, from other other studios. But take a wild guess: fifteen million? How? How is that even possible? I don't understand, dude. What What would your movie look like if you? If you got a $200 million budget, I, I'm just blown freaking away. Blown away. How? Did, you would have told me this movie had a $200 million budget. I would have said, totally. <laughs> After everything I witnessed, yes. <laughs> so, dude, this movie, I hope, makes a ton of money. Whoever was part of this, we got to click. We got to click. Who, who was part of this? Uh, director right here, uh, he needs to keep making movies, Takashi Yamazaki, and he, re he wrote it too, and visual effect, what, <laughs> dude, incredible, wow, I, I am just mind blown by this concept, uh, this is unreal, this is a movie I had no no desire to watch at all. Had none. Didn't even watch the trailer. That was like not even something that crossed my mind. But I kept seeing the word of mouth. People kept talking about it on Twitter. I started seeing YouTube reviews about one of the best movies I've seen all year. And uh, even a couple other friends in my friend group were saying how good it was. I was like, I got to see this for myself. And uh, I legitimately went in without watching the trailer. I had no idea what I was going to be watching. Uh, but like I'm telling you, 
Um, for some reason, I feel like Godzilla in other recent movies were like Godzilla was kind of like in the background. Godzilla is the focus. It's it's what matters in this movie. Godzilla is the it's the focal point without a doubt. Uh, and the journey that these characters go through uh, is, is beautiful. It was a beautiful story. Um, I was very emotionally attached to it. Uh, I, I just, I can't believe, I can't believe how good this movie is. Um, and I'm trying my best to not talk spoilers. Uh, but what I do want to say is, um, for like my non-spoiler, uh, it was just a movie that won me over. And all I thought about was I need to buy this on DVD. I want to watch this, uh, throughout the year, every now and then. Whenever it finally debuts, uh, I hope it hits streaming. Uh, and all I kept thinking was uh, to see a cinematic movie like this, uh, I just want to support it as much as possible and, and have other people go watch it because these are the type of projects that need to keep getting funded. Um, this universe of Godzilla, I want more of it because it was just awesome. Uh, the main characters, you know, outside of Godzilla, the main characters all showed lots of heart. And the crazy part about this movie, subtitles. I, I didn't know one word of what was being said didn't matter. Me reading the emotions that were coming through every character, I felt every word of what was being said is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I do want to I, I do want to go into spoiler review. So I'm going to go into spoiler review right now. Three, two, one. I want to talk spoilers. Um, heat ray, the freaking heat ray. Wow, just pfft. there was there was like four scenes in this movie uh, where I I my jaw just dropped. Um, I just I. <laughs> I can't believe what I witnessed. Uh, Godzilla is menacing. It's terrifying. I'm glad something like this in real life doesn't exist. Uh, but yeah, heat ray. That's the only spoiler that I want to really provide is the heat ray. Just Godzilla's beam of power. Uh, it's I've never witnessed this. I just, I, I, my jaw, the whole, first of all, <laughs> they use like silence sometimes throughout this movie. And ev everybody in the crowd that we were in the theater was just like, what the F? No, like, no, I didn't have words to comprehend what I saw when we watched the heat ray is what they call it in the movie. The, the Godzilla blast. I just, Wow. Um, and, and I don't want to give away too much spoilers, even though this is spoilers, but, uh, the way that the, this movie is all based on Godzilla exists. What do we do about Godzilla? Is Godzilla bad? Yes, it's bad. It's destroying the freaking city. Uh, and is there a way to kill Godzilla? And essentially the way everything kind of turned out, uh, I guess the governments didn't want to get involved to even attempt to fight Godzilla. And so the private citizens of that area where they were all living near Godzilla, going into Tokyo area, uh, they had to battle Godzilla on their own. And the way that everything was storied, uh, I believed it all. I, I, I just like, I, I could only relate it to like watching Harry Potter, where you never doubt that all of this stuff that's going on is not real. You know what I mean? It's all real. I'm watching Harry Potter universe. This is Godzilla universe. It was just so good. It was just so good. There's a lot more to all these stories. I don't want to give it all away. You go watch it. Uh, I, I, I give this a, a five fire review, which is the highest I could give it for me personally. Uh, and then when all the music and the way it ended, I just was like, yes, what a freaking movie. What a freak. Dude, 2023 has been a year of bangers unsurprised like just surprising bangers all throughout the year gran turismo mario freaking this movie <laughs> it's just crazy it's been a crazy year there's a couple other movies but just those are the ones that like really stand out in my head right now uh but go watch it um just be aware it's like two hours long 
Uh, and the way that the movie started, it did not win me over. But by the end and, and, and finally seeing the full circle of the story, it was epic. Epic tell. Go watch it. You're gonna freaking wanna. You're gonna wanna watch it again. You're gonna wanna watch. I wish we could watch it at home. That's this is like a movie that I saw in the theater. I want to go see it at home now, over and over and over. It's just so good. It was just so good. Thank you guys so much. I know this is just truly random, but Godzilla, go watch it. Check it out. Amazing.